Dua University, Ikpitimudu, PNB 5533, Ileife, popularly called OUI, is one of the first rising privately owned universities in Nigeria, named after Odudua. The progenitor of the Yoruba people and established in 2009 is President Dr. Raymond Adedoni Maye of Yoruba Land. Frequently tells the story of how he nurtured it into what it has become today from a humble beginning as a tutorial center. I have been in this business of education for a very, very long time. I started as an home lesson teacher and uh, while I was an undergraduate in the university, a professor identified me and said I should start teaching his kids. Before you knew it, other lecturers kept on bringing their children to me. And that was precisely how I started and discovered myself and discovered that I could be a very good teacher. Immediately I left the university, I was no longer interested in any white collar job. So I established what I call then Universal Tutorial College. And uh, from there, I began to change metamorphose. And uh, from Universal Tutorial College, I established Universal College of Technology. After the Universal College of Technology, I established the Polytechnic Ileife. After that, I now established Odutuwa University. Yes, Odutuwa University stands out in the sense that First and foremost, we don't lecture, we teach, we teach our students, we, we target the total man. So our relationship goes beyond the classroom. We, we study our students, their, their lifestyle, their character, we mold, we groom, we teach them to be what they are supposed to be. So it's not only the head knowledge. We, some of them have emotional problems. Some of them have problems that we cancel them. We, at times we need to communicate their preparedness. And um, that's one of the reasons that helps them to grow and to do well. And one thing we don't relate to, we discipline. When you don't do well, we discipline you. And then um, we also seek rehabilitation. We we'll try to rehabilitate those ones. We have uh, elderly scholars as lecturers. We, the preponderant number, I mean the highest number of students in this university reside in this uh, College of Management and Social Sciences. We parade the highest number of students. They are well disciplined at this one. We have adequate teaching learning facilities, infrastructure, laboratories, one of the best libraries in the, the world, and um, the, the convivial atmosphere has peace in this college and this university. There is uh, understanding, unity, and our graduates always stand out anywhere they go for their postgraduate studies. For example, in Ifedia, we have two students who excelled. Even among those people that applied for PhD programs, the university offers courses and programs leading to undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in several areas of study under five colleges. These are College of Management and Social Sciences, CNSS, College of Natural and Applied Sciences, CNAS, College of Environmental Design and Management, CEDM, College of Engineering and Technology, CET, and College of Postgraduate Studies. Some of the programs run in the College of Management and Social Sciences are degree courses in Business Administration, Mass Communication and Media Technology, Economics, Banking and Finance, Accounting, Public Administration, Political Science, and International Relations. In the Raymond Adedunyi College of Natural and Applied Sciences, we also have courses leading to the award of degrees in Mathematics, Statistics, 
mathematics, computer science, computer science, physics, electronics, chemistry, biochemistry, microbiology, pre-medicine, and industrial chemistry. Also, at the College of Environmental Design and Management, Odudua University, Ipetumodu offers degree courses in architecture, estate management, and quantity surveying. The University College of Engineering and Technology equally runs degree courses in computer engineering, electronic electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering. The various science courses offered at Odudua University have laboratories where students are meant to carry out various practical experiments after being impacted with the theoretical aspects. In the same vein, the College of Engineering also boasts of well-equipped workshops with high-grade equipment for student practical and technical know-how. Ududua University is praised to be acclaimed in the field of mass communication as the university has made great stride by providing their students with the state-of-the-art digital studios and equipment in radio, television, advert, publications, and photography. In addition to these, Odudua University also runs diverse educational and utilities to complement academic and research activities, some which are Centers for Information and Communications Technology, CICT, Center for Entrepreneurial and Vocational Training, CEV, Center for Professional Studies, CPS, Center for Cultural Studies, CCS, Center for Foundation and Extramoral Studies, CFES, Center for International Studies and Exchange Programs, and Center for Communication and Leadership Training. CCL. The university library, which is strategically located in the heart of the university, boasts of not only an e-library, which can be accessed from any part of the world, but also has several books and publications worth millions of naira. Just recently, the Great Citadel of Learning initiated the Center for International Studies and Exchange Program. This was born out of the need to acclimatize with the changing global trend. Odudua University International Studies and Exchange Program is an avenue where students and staff of the university have the opportunity of going overseas during the period of their study of internship, international conferences and seminars, as well as short courses. Just recently, representatives and students of Odudua University embarked on a trip to St. Petersburg, where Odudua University Ipitumudu signed a Memorandum of Understanding. Also, another Memorandum of Understanding was signed with the Sierra Leonean University. Other partner institutions include University of Newcastle, Australia, Patterson University, Ontario, Canada, University of Electronic Science and Technology, Chengelu, and Jiangsu University, both in China, as well as universities in Denmark, Fordland, France, to mention just a few. Um, the center was established to promote international linkages, and we do this in several ways. The center has four major programs, and I'm going to run through the programs now. The first of this program is um, the student exchange or the internship and this usually la uh, lasts for a semester or two. This gives opportunities to students in Ududua University to go to our partner institutions outside the country to spend a semester or two over there and they will run their program and see they are in their own country. They will also write examinations and everything that they do over there and their results will be computed and sent back to the, um, this university and will be added to the accumulative um, grade point average. Likewise, we also have students from our partner universities outside the country coming down to the Dubai University to partake in some of our courses here for a semester or two. Their fees will be paid over there and their results will be computed here and sent back to their own home country. So that is what exchange program is all about. It lasts for a semester or two. We have um, the study abroad or the short courses and this usually lasts for a month. And we have international conferences and seminars as well. And the conferences and seminars are open to staff and students. Yes, all the university is not just a private university. 
This is a place where your five years is five years. You have stable on the Toronto academic calendar, and um, our policy does not support, you know, this uh, bureaucracy that you have to wait 24 hours or one week before anything is being done, so you can be guaranteed of your four years or your five years academic years. And for discipline, we we have zero tolerance for cultism. And if a student or set of students here, we correct them through discipline, um, and we discipline them through the. Then also we the star student ratio, we follow it a letter. The National Universities Commission, they want a certain number of students, is um, a number of lecturers should attend to number of students. So we follow that to letter. We also have a center where students. We will have to learn vocational activities before they graduate, and these are called two times before your graduation, be it five years or four year program. Um, they learn how to be self independent, to be self reliant. They learn for two years, not two years at a stretch. So we have a practical um, time of the year where students in 200 level and 300 level they undergo is entrepreneurship and traditional studies. So this will also help them to be self reliant Where students can be seen actively involved in skill acquisition here. Uh, let's meet one or two of them. Uh, good morning. Okay, good morning. Uh, can we get to know you and uh, take a look what it is you're doing here? Okay, my name is Daniel from Good White University. Okay. Architecture, general level actually. Okay. Yeah, this is an entrepreneurship center and I'm working on this school bag. Is that this leather works? Okay. I'm working on school, this school bag now. And this is a male school bag. This is the finished product of it. So I'm working on something like this. It's, that's a fun pocket, fun pocket and another room. But this is a different material. But this is still the same product I'm trying to work on. Okay. For this part now. And uh, from what I can see, um, you've really learned one or two things. Uh, do you intend to go all the way with this particular trade or you're just learning it for the time being? Yeah, I'm learning this so that I'll have the knowledge of it. So in the future, whenever I have a chance, I can have a handwork, which I know I'm professional at doing. So at any time, I could do this at anywhere, any point. That's why I'm learning this. So how would you say this has contributed to your... Because you said you're studying architecture. Yeah. And how would you say it has contributed? Because uh, right now everybody seems to be going into skill acquisition. Yeah, but you still have to have a degree at least. So as an, as an architect, you still have to have another handwork aside from that. So being an architect doesn't mean you have to strictly be an architectural studies or architectural field. You can also do this. Being to know, even if you don't do it, having the knowledge of it, you can employ people to do this for you. Not if you not if you don't want to stay in the place doing it by yourself. You can have workers that work on this for you, and I'll bring extra money for you, as it's like business. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. This is Hilton Hotels Chief Dr. Ramon Adedonyiwe, Barakin Obalufe, Ileife, a four-star hotel located in the commercial center of Ileife with all standard modern amenities to make your lodging a memorable one. Fully air-conditioned rooms, standby generator, standard swimming pool, spacious parking space, 24 hours adequate security. Our restaurant is at your service for delicious African and continental dishes and our bar is fully stocked with a Sorted wines and cold drinks for your seminars, workshops, wedding receptions, and other social events at Benny Hall and 2000 seaters Raf Event Center offer you the best services. We will treat you like a king and spoil you like a prince. Hilton Hotels Chief Dr. Ramon Adedonyue, Barakin Obalufe Ileife. Telephone 080 60 22 55 55 or www.hiltonhotelife.com. Hilton Hotels. Ilefa is it? Yes, a complete home away from home. There have been a lot of improvements that's already, that, that have taken place since the establishment of the university, most especially in this college, the postgraduate uh, college. The, when the school started about 10 years ago, there was nothing like a postgraduate uh, uh, college. Uh, postgraduate college, you know, college of postgraduate studies. 
but in the developments that have been occurring, we now have 15 programs that want to expand on the programs, like in the College of uh, Management and Social Studies, we have masters now in uh, business administration. We have a postgraduate diploma in business administration. We have MSc a program in mass communication and business administration, computer science, microbiology, biochemistry, and public administration. And we also have PGD in all these courses that I've mentioned. And we have even PhD now in a public administration and even computer science. And we also have an MPA, Master's of an uh, in public administration. Papa. Good afternoon, mommy. Good afternoon, how are you? Um, can you tell me how you feel today, seeing your child graduate? I am so happy to see my child graduating today, especially she came to this school called Ududua University. That's it is not easy. So you really love the school? I love it. I even love the name more than. And I'm, today I'm the most happiest woman on earth for seeing my child graduating from this beautiful university. That's very nice. Good to hear that from you. Yes. The school is fantastic. The school is fantastic. Most especially the owner of the school is very, very accommodating. He took every student like his uh, or like his uh, uh, child. So I so much love him. So much love the way he invests in uh, education. You understand me? He, he, he at least most of his. Uh, Colleagues who use their money to do other things. You know, something they will spend money on today and get a, a very big uh, return tomorrow. But he felt he want to he want to impact the knowledge he has on so many people. And I think the the, the, the students will also not forget. I, 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 the school is fantastic. It has been a great achievement here. Yeah. When you look at this place, a lot of uh, infrastructural work that is existing here, one is delighted that where this university is no longer a baby university, it's grown and you have more than enough that you expect in any university. This is a great university. Of deception. You don't believe that there is a lot of uh, development inside. Raymond Adedoyin has contributed immensely to the development of education in this country. And it's one of those who should be encouraged. I think he has done very well. It's not even a matter of thinking. He has done exceptionally well. He has performed better than his contemporaries. In fact, he has performed better than even some state universities. Sincerely, I've been very much impressed. And um, I've been flagabusted because I didn't know that the place is as big as this. My name is Osisa Chamaka Valerie. I'm a 400 level student of Otojiwa University. And I came into the school through direct entry, which shows that the school accepts direct entry students for IGMB and also JAM admitted students. Now, OUIE is a school that is very security conscious and also very upright in you know, telling the students how to dress corporately and decently to class. Also, we are security conscious in the sense that the hostels are really secure and there's a fixed time for, you know, locking of the hostels and all of that. Also, there are stipulated time for lectures in classes and lecturers always attend classes and do not miss classes. OUIE is basically a university that forms 
you know, break reforms and structure students in the right way. We have a lot of sporting activities and a lot of fun field activities that we do here in our school. Like we have the table tennis um, um, team, we have the football team, we have badminton, and a lot of other fun stuff in the school. We also have a studio for the mass communication students. We have a very functional library that is really conducive and well air conditioned. And the school is a very conducive place to learn serene, quiet, and with really coordinated students. Thank you. My name is Badibo Shegun, a foreign level student of Ojo University. And I must tell you, this school has been really fantastic in terms of entrepreneur. They've really helped my life because uh, looking at the situations around Nigeria right now, there is no work anywhere. But this school has made it possible for students graduating from this school to lay back on something after their graduation through entrepreneur. And I studied CTV installation. And I must tell you, it's really convenient and it has been uh, something of great importance to me. And I'm so joyous about it. In the world of sports, Odidua University is not left alone. Students as well as staff members are encouraged to engage in sporting activities on campus. To keep the university safe, Odidua University is placed under 24 hours CCTV surveillance, which is complemented by the efforts of Nigeria police and well-trained men of the Ray Power Guy Security Outfit, who ensure that staff, students, as well as the entire Odudua University community is kept safe from hoodlums. The Chancellor only recently took the issue of protection of lives and properties further by providing securities round the clock with the acquisition of a state-of-the-art firefighting vehicle which is meant to serve not just Odudua University but also to complement the efforts of the existing firefighting equipment provided by the government for Ilife community thereby serving as part of the institution's corporate social responsibility to the host community. At Odudua University, the hostel facilities are second to none. Parents can go home rest assured of their war's place of rest after their daily academic rigors, as the university boasts of well-furnished hostels for both male and female students. Equally available are well-furnished staff quarters in the school. At Odudua University, the welfare and health of both staffs and students is of utmost importance to the management. This could be seen in the establishment of a health center that caters for the health needs of the university community with 24-hour medical facilities, a well-equipped ambulance, as well as well-trained medical practitioners to cater for any kind of emergency at a subsidized cost. Other facilities that ease lives activities provided within the university community include a microfinance bank, first access finance bank, water factory for the production of bottled and sachet drinking water, printing press for publications, and school buses to ease the transportation of staff and students to and from school. In its bid to fulfill its ambitions and visions to be the university of choice in Nigeria, Odudua University embarked on different developmental projects, especially in the areas of structure. Among the ongoing building structures in the university are the proposed Faculty of Law Building, Natural and Applied Science Building Complex, OUI Filling Station, Utility Center Building, Postgraduate Building Classroom, Staff Quarters, and Road Network Construction. For a fast-growing university that is barely 10 years old, Odudua University Ipitumudu surely has come a long way in the short time of our existence. At the pace, it is surely going to live up the dreams and visions of the promoter and founder to be the university of choice in Nigeria and Africa and the whole world at large. When we got the license to run this university, uh, the first thing I did was to find out why some universities, many universities in Nigeria, why they are not around as uh, one of the best. So what I did was uh, I looked for some good professors who are into education and uh, we decided to case study why some universities are not listed, I don't even have good positions in the world. And I was able to package some things, we went to the United States, we went to the United Kingdom, visited some universities, and uh, all those ideas are what we have started using gradually. Let us wait and see by the special grace of God. You have seen one of the best universities 
in the world. That is where you are. For the inquiries, please contact us in our Abuja office, Ududua University Guest House, Plot 763, behind Cleverfield Primary School, off Fish Market Turning, almost opposite Akpo Filling Station, Akpo Resettlement Area, Abuja, Lagos Office, 213 Egbeda Idimu Road, opposite Yemkem Fifth Bus Stop, Idimu, Lagos, or visit our website www.oduduayuniversity.edu.ng or call these numbers 080-5656-5656 or 080-5855-5558. Alright. Right. Mm -hmm. It's paper, but <laughs> I beat. 